Good afternoon, YouTube. Well, morning, but by the time I upload this or whatever, it'll probably be afternoon. I'm half asleep. Very pissed off. Okay, so I wake up this morning, chilling. I have yet to put on my contacts, and I'm like, I don't feel like getting out of bed. So I reach for my laptop and I start watching the Tanya CTL show. Apparently, she watched Blacks in America or something on CNN. CNN, in my personal opinion, is one of the most biased stations in the world. They give you a topic and they won't give you the unbiased viewing where it's it won't leave you coming out with a negative feeling. It'll just leave you coming out with a thought. Apparently, after watching this program, somebody who I kind of look up to is questioning the pride for black people. I will always be proud to be black, you know, because I feel as a black person I have made it further than a lot of people would expect. I'm one of the best testers that any of my teachers have ever seen. I am not running around with STDs. I'm a pretty good black person in my opinion. Yeah. But um things that I heard are covering from that show obesity, grade score, test scores, all that stuff. If you look at America as a whole, America, just America, and go to somewhere like Jamaica, Africa, Britain, any other country, everybody has higher test scores than us. Why? Because education is not necessarily seen as a foundation in America. It's all politics. It's not necessarily how smart you are or what grades did you get in school. It's how well can you work the damn system. Excuse my language. But it is. And for somebody to, to sit there and, and think so little of black people and then go portray it on a show needs to go shoot themselves in the ass and I'm dead ass serious. Um, damn, I'm starting to feel like Kanye West. But America hates black people. It, it's um annoying when people belittle black people, but I'm going to target CNN right now. Um, before making this video, because something in the back of my mind is like, <clears throat> CNN and black people clash. And the reason I say this is, I looked up, of course, one of the most known black people right now, Obama, and CNN. CNN has an article out talking about Obama wife swatted at him. It made it seem like she was trying to beat his ass or something. No, they were sitting there joking around and she went, whatever. They also put things about how Obama's in rap songs. Yeah, because he has supporters. And they go on, everything that they do, it's like they're trying to make Obama seem in a negative way as black as possible. The man is black, but he ain't a he ain't a fool, he ain't an idiot, he is cultured. He's highly intelligent. But of course CNN would not really target the whole Obama's great thing, but whatever. News is supposedly supposed to be unbiased, but that that's never gonna be the case. Maybe because I spent two years in T V production and I watch so much damn TV. Yes, I did watch TV and TV production. That I realized that life is is not as it's supposed to be, and and there's a lot of um, biased things on television. And if you believe everything you see on TV, then that's a very ignorant thing to do. And I'm just highly annoyed right now. Um, how long has it been? It's been four minutes and forty two seconds. Okay. Um. Oh no, I'm I probably look black as hell right now. Uh, hello. Okay. So um, basically, I just I just uh, wanted to to respond to this black in America thing. 
Um, if you're gonna if if you're gonna sit there and watch a program and think negatively about black people because of this program, then um, some research needs to be done because black people have done a lot of great things. Black people have gone places. Black people are still going places. I mean, if Obama makes it as a president, even though I think America is not ready for a black person because they're too racist, and then you have seen them putting out some dumb things like this, you know. Whatever though, but black people are doing great things. I don't care what anybody say. Just because you have some low lowlifes in every in every race, you have low lowlifes. You have white trash. You have black niggas. You got everything. You got I don't even know what Chinese freaks. I'm just joking, but I think I heard that one before. Um, I've heard a lot of stereotypes when it comes to racism. People belittle black people. And if you're gonna say that, all right, let's say it's 20% of black people do this, this, and that, and then it's um 20% of white people doing the same thing. Did you realize that there are more white people than black people? Or like, let's say it's less than 20%. Let's say that there are 5,000 blacks doing something and there's 5,000 whites doing something. You know, they're going to say, in percentage-wise, and it's going to make white people seem like, oh, they're not as bad as black people, but they still got the same amount of people doing the same-ish. Like, come on, think about it. Statistics are very biased things because if you look at it as a whole, you're looking at a minority compared to a majority. That, that makes no sense, but... um. I'm about to be out because I need to go get ready for the day or something because I'm like slightly pissed off but that's that's the matter right now you know it's, it's not as important so I'm so I'm about to be out. I'm catch y'all later hopefully Tanya if you see this I still look up to you you are a very inspiring person I it's just that one thing that was so depressing and pessimistic I I felt like screaming really.